Hey everybody, thanks for checking our videos out. Casey with Fast Brewing and Winemaking. Uh, we're just gonna talk about cleaning the fast ferment a little bit. Uh, cleaning is pretty much your number one thing in home brewing. Uh, if it's not clean, you're not gonna make good beer, good wine. Really important, when you first get everything, soak it. Put it in the sink, four hours. If you can leave it overnight, perfect. But basically, all the components just get added to the sink here. Anything that touches the wart. Um, so your thermal well is going to touch it. Got, of course, your conical body is going to touch it. Get a little water in it. Fill her up. Bring it on. Uh, we got the lid and grommet and airlock can all go in. Airlock comes apart here. So yeah, boom. Uh, the gasket can go in, and then if you guys are uh, got one of our, our new beer or wine starter kits, we can also add a few other things that are going to touch the wart once we get going. Just want to make sure it's real nice and clean. So we've actually got some uh, cleaner in there already, so it's perfect. It's ready to soak. Um, and then we want to show you a little something on the valve here. Uh, so this is our one inch union valve. Um, now you don't need to do this all the time suggest doing it maybe a couple of times a year. Some people like doing it more often, but just be careful on the threading back together. It is plastic, so we want to be careful with it. Uh, so there's two knobs on the top of the red handle here. Um, hopefully you can see those. Uh, basically, we're gonna pop the red handle off. That's gonna be our key. We're gonna then unscrew the union fitting. Uh, when the union fitting is off, uh, you can pop the O-ring off if you like, but I can normally pop do this without it. There's two divots in the bottom here, so the knobs on the handle line up with your divots. So basically they just pop right in and then it all screws apart. So we screw it apart. Pops out, that's what the inside looks like. You can screw it a little bit to clean it. When you're reassembling the valve and putting it back together, it's important when you tighten it that everything lines up nice and flush so it's flat don't want to have it too far in, too far out. If it is, it's either going to be too hard and you're not going to be able to screw it, or it won't be enough. That's about right, right there. I can feel it, feel snug. So that's the first tip. Uh, the other thing is sometimes when you're brewing on it, um, the valve, when you go to disconnect it, the valve will actually snag the innards of the valve, so it'll loosen up and the valve will leak slightly. So if it does leak slightly, just grab the red handle, turn it back, screw it back together, make it nice and tight, sealing totally perfectly good. Uh, the second tip, I know we said to clean it thoroughly and you should every time before you do each batch, but the one thing you don't need to do is totally disassemble it. Uh, so all the gray to white fittings, they don't necessarily need to be unscrewed, retaped every time you do it. Tape it up, leave it, it's good for at least a year. If you want to clean it once a year, sure, but we really don't suggest it because you will wear the threads out on it but it is important to keep everything really clean. Thanks very much for watching our videos. If you guys ever needed a hand, uh, need help at all, suggestions, feedback, anything, please feel free to reach out to us. Our 1-800 number literally goes to our cell phones and we're always on our email, so drop us a line, say what's up. Thanks very much, take care. Cheers. Cheers.